Hi, just a quick update on my previous video on an Astro 1.7 CDTI um, map center fault, um, the ECN or the code that I had on doing the pedal test showed up as a P P105 P105 two I believe it was, um, but anyway. It referred to the map sensor. Now, on removing the map sensor, and I'll pop back to the vehicle to um, show you how I actually taken the map sensor out. Um, but anyway, on taking it out, it was quite tough to. Once I've undone the screw, the screw was just here. Once I've taken the screw out, um, I couldn't just um, put it off. Um, I used the screwdriver to ease it, basically, to just ease it off on that part there um, so as I wedged it in it snapped you can see where it snapped there it is now given that it's a Saturday it's difficult to bloody get another part so I'm just gonna have to somehow get it back in put it back together until I can get another part so my alternative method is perhaps to use some plumbing tape and just put it back together, see how it goes, basically. So I'm going to put some plumbing tape around that little edge there. Once I put some plumbing tape around it, um, I've cleaned it up with some carburetor cleaner. So the carburetor cleaner I've used is, there it is, some brake, flu um, brake cleaner and some carburetor cleaner. And it was extremely mucky on the inside. I don't know if you can see it, but it is a lot better than it was. It was extremely mucky inside there. Um, seems like some metal contacts i know it works um, on a capacitive basis so yeah it was clogged up totally so I, I suppose this is why i got the ever cold um but anyway what i'm gonna do is i'll pop to the car show you how i've taken it apart and um, i'll put it back all together and um, see if it's done the job but obviously once i get a new one in um, I'm pretty certain that should sort it out. But yeah, let's head over to the car. And I'm heading over to the car now, so let's have a look. Here's the Astra now. You can see the location of the map sensor there it is in that gap there so that that's where the map sensor was located um, anyway what i'll do is i had to move move the map sensor the air duct there it is you can see that i placed on top of the engine to get access to this part here and i think that's the swirl flap actuator now that is you just have to easy out the way there's a bit that goes there you can see that little bit there now that's actually attached to it i don't know if you can see i'm pointing right there in fact i'll get the screwdriver there it there's a plastic bit right underneath it I can't even show you it but there's a plastic bit it's not going to come out um so all you have to do is easy out there it is just there that little bit there just underneath that is part of the actual actuator it's not gonna come out so just move it out unclipped it and this is the location of the map sensor just there that's the gap and in there there was a lot of carbon now i know it goes it's part of the intake so i've just sprayed some carb cleaner in there um it was extremely mucky um the part that snapped off is this section here that part so you can see where it snapped off of the map sensor but Obviously, there's no way I can reattach it. This was seized in there, and it was, I was unable to pull it off. And it just snapped it. That's why I totally buggered it. But then, luckily, put the screwdriver in, or screw bit in, and slowly eased it, pulled it out. Once pulled it out, it quite easily, well, once it snapped off, it came off. But like I say, I can see that there's, where you can see the ring, where you see there's a tiny ring there, that section must go into that gap in the hole. So I'm guessing if I can seal it well enough, I might just do the trick. 
well anyway i'm going to give it a go put it all back together and see how it goes um but keep you updated once i've done it thank you and like the video